Hello guys and welcome to another Heteron video. Today we're going to be solving pairs. You'll be given an array of integers and a target value. Determine the number of pairs of array elements that have a difference equal to a target value. For example, given the array of 1, 2, 3, 4 and the target value of 1, we have three values meeting that condition. Complete the function pairs below. It must return an integer representing the number of element pairs having the required difference. Pairs have the perimeter k, which is the difference, and the array of integers. So the first thing we're going to do is copy the initial sample given to us here. And we're going to work through this problem. The thing is, if you're using any programming language, you should be fine as long as you follow the steps. Um, what we're going to do is, let me add a sticky here. And we're going to paste these values here. So the first thing we want to do is take these values and put them into a set so we can query them. This is going to ensure that uh, we have distinct pairs, right? Because these are duplicates in our initial input. And we try querying our input over the set, then we're going to have uh, duplicates in there. Um, I haven't checked that, but this is just something that I wanted to to do ahead of time to make sure that they're not duplicates because the problem doesn't say that the numbers are actually unique. Um, so what we're going to do is keep a set of these values. So let's keep a set, All right? So I'll copy this over. We still get the same values: one, uh, two, three, and four. So what we're going to do is go over our set values and not our um, input. All right? So if we go over the set, we know that every value is going to be unique, right? So that's the reason. And next thing we want to do is keep track of k. In this case, k here is going to be equal to 1. So the first thing we do is we bring down 1 from our set. So we bring down 1 plus k, right, is going to be equal to 2. All right, so we take our first value, we add that to k. So 1 plus 1 is going to equal to 2. So see if 2 is within our set. Yes, is within our set. So we know that 1 and 2 are a pair. Okay. So this is going to work if you use subtraction as well. The issue with subtraction is sometimes you may run into negative numbers. So using addition is kind of like foolproof um, rather than using subtraction. Because in this case, you have to make sure that k, that, uh, k um, gets subtracted from the values within the set instead. All right, you, have to, you actually have to care about order, but with addition, you don't have to care about, about, about order. All right, so next thing we do is we bring down 2. So 2 plus k, which is going to be 3. All right, we check to see if 3 is within our um, set. Yes, it is. So we know that uh, 2 and 3 are a pair. All right, then we go to 3. So 3 plus k, this is going to equal to 4. So we look here, 4 is in there, so we know that um, 3 and 4 um, is a pair. And then we go 4 plus 1 is going to equal 5. We're looking here, so 5 is not in our set, so this is not going to exist. So we have 1, 2, 3 as the uh, number of pairs. If you go back here, uh, it says that we have three values meeting that condition, so that's correct. So what I'm going to do next is copy uh, this one here, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and solve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all of this and I'm going to create a new sticky and so we can see those values in here. I'm going to paste this. All right, so like I said before, we start with the set. We create a set. This is going to have our values. We have one, uh, five, this one is very ugly. So we have one, all right, five, uh, three, we have four, and we have two. So the first thing we do is we will bring down one, right? Um, but our k here is going to be equal to two. All right, so this means five elements and then k, all right? Um, so we bring down one plus two, which is going to equal to three, all right? We check our set, three exists in there, so we know that one and three are a pair. All right, next we bring down five. Five plus two is going to be seven. We check in here, seven is not here, so this is not gonna work out. 
Then we bring down 3 plus 2, which is going to equal to 5. We check in here, 5 is in here. So we know that uh, 3 and 5 should be a pair. Then we go down to 4 plus 2 is going to equal to 6. Remember 4 plus k. And this is 6 is not in there, so that's not going to work out. We go to 2. So we do 2 plus 2 is going to equal to 4. Um, we see that 4 is here, so we know that uh, 2 and 4 are a pair. So we have 1, 2, 3. Right, we go back here and it should match our output here. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this problem. Um, all right, so the first thing you need to do is uh, keep a set. So let's do set via set of integers. All right, and then I'm gonna call the set. It's gonna equal to new hash set. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and um, go over the values in our array. We call this Q for query, and we're gonna go ahead and add that to the set. So we're gonna do a set dot add. I'm gonna add in Q. This is gonna make sure that we have no duplicates. The next thing I want to do is keep track of our pairs. So we need a uh, int pair, um, uh, int pair variable and then what we need to do is we need to query our set so we're going to go in uh, q and set and then we're going to check we're going to say that if right uh, set that contains we're going to have q plus k they want to do plus plus pair let me call this one pairs. All right. And then all we need to do next is just return the number of uh, matching pairs. So return pairs. All right. So now we can go down here. We can run this. And this should work. And we can run the rest. All right. So like I said before, this problem should work if you have Q minus K as well. So the pairs arrangements might be different, but the outcome is still the same, all right? Because the difference between addition and subtraction is not, um, is not a problem for this problem, for this question. Uh, so what we do is let's run this again here for the subtraction part. As long as you have Q minus in um, K, you should be okay and not K minus Q. So we care about the order if you're gonna minus. And then let's run this. All right guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like the content of the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.